headed to the next stop. Stop and get fuel up here at this truck stop. Just down the road. Hey, did you notice the duck over here yesterday? See that cow? The duck boat? We stopped at this truck stop here in Emmett, Michigan. All kinds of stuff around here, pretty cool. Best thing for me was that they uh, just said, go ahead and fill up and when you're done, come in and pay. We have to do that pre-authorization stuff. That way we can get it all the way full here. All right, there's the four valve head that we're picking up. And he's got all new valves and springs for it. It was pressure tested when it was put in here and it passed good, but we'll send it to the machine shop and get it all fixed up, ready to go for us. But I'll show you his shop. He has an amazing shop here. You work on a lot of hot rods? Yeah, and restoration. A ton of LS work and then antique uh, Lincolns, Cadillacs, um, Boss Mustangs. Big black marine engines. Got quite the setup here. Yeah, I hung that prop up. It hit a deer. Oh! <laughs> They don't make the machines like this anymore, do they? No. It doesn't pass OSHA for one. Yeah. <laughs> this I made. It does. I do lifter bore sleeving with this thing. Oh. Yeah, quite a nice sign collection too. Oh yeah, more than half of my original. When you look for them, always find the date and the, the really old ones. This out of way. That one I got in the wrapper. The original artwork was done in 1948, huh. and it was reprinted in 1954. Huh. Sure got a lot of tooling. I would have known I was going to be on a YouTube channel. I'd have cleaned up a little. <laughs> I'm busier than hell, though. What's that for? The, these are LS heads, and I've been doing some valve guide conversions to them. So we're reading valve guides out right there. Rebuild old distributors too. That's got to be a lost art form. <laughs> you know, especially some of these older vintage, like flathead Cadillacs. The distributor sits 12 inches up out of the engine. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the bushings wear out. And they can't get the motor to run right after it's been rebuilt. Well, thanks for the tour. I love these, these old boat motors too. Those are amazing. You got a um, whole bunch of those. That in was here. my grandfather's. The tank is getting repainted. That's a 1927 Johnson Seahorse. Oh, wow. These Evnoloots, I kind of collected them. They're opposed four cylinders and they got a bore like an inch and an eighth <laughs> in them. And it's like a seven horse opposed flat four. Looks like a micro miniature water cooled Volkswagen. <laughs> That's cool. I'd love to see that apart, actually. <laughs> you want one? Yeah, no thanks. <laughs>
make that, but I can pull pull forward and back. So here's one of the two. Man, it's straight. Yeah, it's got some rust. It was it has it's used on this side of the country. The other one's from the southwest, but it's not ruined. So it's got the original door on this side. That one's still clean and everything. Yeah, if I turn around, you'll see the other one over there. That's the one we'll be working on. Everybody needs two or three big toys, right? That's right. It's like a DJ booth, huh? Yeah. Very cool. This is the factory bathroom. Very cool. I like it. Oh.
That sounds good too. Never, uh, it's never failed. It's never, like I said, we had a little problem out once out there, and it, you know, it chugged and missed a little bit because of the water, but it's never, never gone into a steady mess or anything. I don't. You said that one had water in it when he dropped it. No, I need to take them all down. But this has got oil leaking out of it. That's yeah. usually a sign that water is in okay, there. Okay, then I need to take them. this one. 